Hey guys, how you doing? Ray here again. If you'd like to subscribe, it's Nitro Kyosho. Uh, remember to follow me on the community page on Facebook, Nitro Kyosho, all one word, brings you there. Also guys, I'm trying to promote a new channel that I'm making. This one's kind of just more or less like this one started out kind of just for fun. It's uh, for anybody that's into music, which I'm sure a lot of you are. Uh, it's called Metal Storm. It's going to be predominantly guitar stuff, guitar gear. Uh, me playing different things and uh, there's a link on the Nitro Kyosho channel in the corner in red it says Metal Storm if you'd like to check it out uh, and subscribe I'd be grateful thank you if you do. Uh, I also want to once again wish everybody well out there with the national worldwide pandemic the coronavirus that seems to be winding down uh, so I wish you guys all well and I hope everybody out there is doing good and is healthy. So <clears throat> Let's uh, talk a little bit about this. This is my uh, Align T-Rex 700X Dominator. And in the past probably three weeks, it hasn't been flying too good. Uh, you can probably tell from the last two videos I put out with it, I had a massive tail wag issue. And uh, now I've been flying in some pretty windy, nasty conditions this this spring has been not too nice here in New England, guys. It's been windy. And I remember my good friend Gregor McGrath he used to be the tech, uh, Healy Tech at A Main Hobbies. He used to say, Ray, when you fly these things in some winds, the wind can do some weird things to fly wireless units. So at first, I didn't think uh, a whole lot uh, about it. And then I had contemplating maybe adjusting the... Uh, the gyro and everything, uh, and the radio, you know, changing the settings. And then I said, I, you know, I got to check this out because I have a feeling what it could be. Now, when you're uh, troubleshooting these things, you can pull your hair out, guys. And uh, so the first thing I basically did, I made sure the fly barless uh, unit was securely attached. Uh, I checked to make sure the... Uh, that the boom, the screws here were tight, that the struts were tight, that there was no issues with the uh, the tail servo, with the uh, horn being loose or anything. Um, I checked out just, you know, all this visually, the tail box back here, everything was very solid and tight. So I said, it's gotta be what I think it is. And, and it was, so I, just took the tail box off here, just the two screws and disconnected the, uh, the, the control rudder rod here. Took the box out and slid out the uh, torque tube and one of the bearings, bearings had shifted all the way to the end. Now, obviously they were put together right. I mean, I have the align manual here. They're supposed to be spaced out about 10 and a half inches from each of the ends of the torque rod, which they were <laughs> when I put it together, but it's been together for a while, you know, a couple, three years, maybe now, two, three years. And uh, so it did, uh, it did come loose and that was a simple fix. You just take it out, clean it, clean the, the rod down with alcohol and everything. And I actually redid the other one just in case. And, uh, Put some oil and some lube on the rubber uh, bearing holder and slid it back in. Now, I put enough oil where I'm hoping it didn't. That rubber, sometimes when you push them in, you got to be careful because those rubber covers on the bearings can actually pull off. So I put a lot of oil. So I know this one visually I could see was on there still. Realistically, you should have the boom disconnected from here and have it out so you can see that it's in both ends. But I'm, I'm pretty confident it is. And if I go out and we start wah, 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 all over the place, we'll know that it did pop out of there. But uh, uh, I think it's securely in there. And then I just took these off as a precaution because it did have some, some bad wag. And I uh, cleaned the, uh, the uh, rods here, uh, the... the uh, the struts uh, for the boom, uh, both ends, and cleaned them up with uh, wire brush, alcohol, relocked, tightened uh, those, and then uh, tightened, retightened up this. This was actually, these had come just a little bit loose, nothing really to 
right home about. <clears throat> so uh, that basically uh, <clears throat> was an easy, quick fix. So there, there's, uh, you know, when it comes to things like that, <clears throat> guys, you got to just kind of troubleshoot different things and check everything out. And uh, so that's just my uh, Align T-Rex tip, you know, and uh, I'm sure it applies to the other models too that have those. Uh, the 500s and, the, and the, the smaller ones and and so on so and I would assume anybody that has a torque tube uh, helicopter that could that could happen because uh, I don't epoxy those I actually use uh, just a super glue Loctite and that's held on all of these models the one back there for quite a bit it just uh, just broke loose and you know no big deal quick fix and uh, you know, back in the air again. So there you go, guys. That's my uh, my tip for a tail wagon, and uh, hope that this helps some guys out there too. Thanks for watching.